Welcome Virgo to your weekly reading. This is for the 30th of September to the 7th of October. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Virgo, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row are your possible challenges, if any. The fourth row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, the fifth row is the possible outcome of the week. Virgo, I'm going to start off over here with three of wands and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we just want to see now what Three of Wands is for Virgo, please. The Empress. What a lovely start to the week, my dear Virgos. Virgo, what we are seeing here with our Three of Wands and our Empress energy is that whatever you have been focusing on, working on, putting in a lot of time and effort, at the beginning of this week, you're actually going to see something coming in to fruition, something manifest. Now, how it will manifest and how big the manifestation will be, of course, will be very different for everybody. But with three of wands coming in, we see something actual, something tangible appearing for you and whatever appears for you, my dearest Virgos, gives you this energy of our Empress, which is the energy of abundance, fertility, where we are able to do what we want to do and we feel our needs are being met. So what we are seeing here, my dear Virgos, if you have recently decided to move and you've spent so much time looking for a new home, arranging the move, and then establishing the new home. And anybody who has experienced a move knows how exhausting and sometimes quite traumatic it can be. What we see that this week, you start to feel like, wow, this is my home. Everything's organized, everything's settled. I'm starting to feel like I belong here. And this new home makes you feel our Empress energy where all your hard work has paid off. You're sitting in a beautiful environment. You've created a new home. You love what you have created. And now you are able to think about initiating and creating other things in your life. This, my dear Virgos, could be the energy of working extremely hard, either in your business or at work, and really putting in the hours and the effort. And then this week, with our Empress energy, you get the rewards. Whether it is being complimented by your boss, getting a promotion or an increase, or you land a big client at work, you move into the Empress energy, which is wonderful to see. Now let us see who or what King of Cups is for you that is sitting in the area you should focus on. Right, let us see now. Who or what? is King of Cups for Virgo, please. The Nine of Pentacles. My gosh, my dear Virgos, this is going to be a very abundant week for you. You, my dear Virgos, are presenting under this message as King of Cups. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It is the energy of King of Cups I am speaking about. Now, you're coming through this week, my dear Virgos, as very emotionally wise and mature. You've got a deep understanding of your own emotions. You understand where you've been, you understand where you are, and what you want to bring into your life. You are being asked this week, my dearest Virgos, to focus on your abundance. It's coming through strongly twice. There is something here that's coming through. And if you remember, my dear Virgos, I said that it's going to come through very differently for everybody. So especially for my Virgos, where you're just getting a small sign, it does not matter how small the sign is that is representing your ships coming in. 
What is of utmost importance is the potential it has in bringing you into the Empress and Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is the energy of abundance, but it speaks to us of abundance, my dear Virgos, that you are driving, you are bringing in and creating for yourself. It's like you are seizing every opportunity. Even if it's not happening quick enough for you and you're only seeing small signs, you still give it all the time, nurturing and attention. Because, my dear Virgos, with these two cards coming out side by side, we know there is abundant energy swirling around you. And it's now up to you how you work with this abundance, how you maximize it and what you create out of it. Very nice to see, my dear Virgos. Now let us see what strength is all about that is sitting in your possible challenges. So we want to see now what strength is for Virgo, please. The Magician. Virgo, the only challenge that I can see for you this week is that you might feel quite overwhelmed when you see those ships starting to come in. Now, Virgo, this is so understandable. When you have worked so hard for something, we get so used to the hard work and the anticipation that when it actually arrives, my dear Virgos, it can be quite overwhelming. And this is what strength is telling me. It's telling me that some of my Virgos might just be overwhelmed by good news. But take your time, let it sink in, let it integrate. You're going to manage it just fine. There is a wonderful manifestation about to take place for you. And it has to do with this abundant energy that is all around you, my dearest Virgos. This is the week you are able to bring in something that you have been wishing and praying for and see it now manifest on the physical realm. My dear Virgos, just remember, you came through as King of Cups. You are going to be able to manage what comes your way, especially with this overwhelmed feeling. So my dear Virgos, once you manage and get the overwhelm under control, you're going to be able to experience this manifestation taking place for you. Now let us see what Ten of Swords is all about that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. Right, let us see now what Ten of Swords is for Virgo, please. The Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, you have a very interesting message coming through from Spirit, and it might not resonate with everybody. If you, my Virgos, experienced Ten of Swords energy in the recent past, which is the energy of being blindsided, this is the energy of being stabbed in the back, betrayed, lied to, somebody leaving you, and really being left flawed about what has happened. This Three of Wands energy is coming in, my dear Virgos, bringing the light back into your life. See that light there? It's now represented in our Knight of Pentacles in all this yellow. A new beginning, a new start. Spirit wants you to know, my dearest Virgos, you are going to start releasing out of anything you might still be going through with regards to this experience. Now, for some of my Virgos, this might be a distant memory. For other of my Virgos, you might have healed completely. And then there are going to be some of my Virgos who are still carrying some resonance of what happened. When you focus on your new start, your new beginning, which is our Three of Wands, and you start to focus on the future, building something solid and new, something you are going to be initiating and creating, for you, my dear Virgo, something that is of meaning to you, you will find that the light here 
pushes back the darkness and you are going to be only encompassed by this beautiful bright golden light which we saw in all our cards. This energy that I'm seeing around you, when I keep calling it the swirl of abundance, I just see you, my dear Virgos, being engulfed in this beautiful golden light. And now you have possibility at your fingertips to really bring in and create something that is of meaning to you. And my dear Virgos, this could be in any area of your life. This could have something to do with your love life. It could have something to do with your career, your money, your finances, your family, your home. It will be specific and personal. So please take it where it resonates. Now let us see what Page of Pentacles is all about that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. Right, let us see now what Page of Pentacles is for Virgo, please. The Eight of Cups. My dearest Virgos, by the end of the week, I see you embracing what this is for you. You now have the mindset and the enthusiasm to focus on what this is for you and you're looking forward to the possibility that it has surrounding it. Eight of Cups sitting here at the end of the week is very connected, my dearest Virgos, to our Ten of Swords. So it tells us that this week, my dear Virgos, there's going to be a big shift out of our Ten of Swords energy as you start feeling the light coming back into your life and you leave behind this energy over here, the energy that pulled you down. And for most of my Virgos, this is not even going to be a conscious decision because you're focusing on all this wonderful energy coming in for you. You're not leaving room for past memories to come in and pull you down. This is going to be a wonderful and natural release. You are moving onward and upward. Now let's go ahead and get a message from your guides for the week. Right, let us see now what Virgo's guides would like to share with them, please. Imagination in a child, number seven. My dear Virgos, the number seven is your lucky number this week. Any combination or variation of the number seven, please consider very auspicious. Your inner child wants you now to use your imagination. Use your imagination now, my dear Virgos, in what you want to see, manifest and create on the physical realm. You have the magician energy working with you, which is incredibly strong, and you are surrounded by abundance. You are in the most perfect position to start giving detailed focus to what you want to see manifest on the physical realm. And as you can see here, my dear Virgos, we have three butterflies appearing. These butterflies tell us there is a transformation energy surrounding you as well. And it's the transformation out of this energy into our prosperity energy. We also see that there are many stars in our image. And when the stars appear, it's telling us this is a blessed period. My dear Virgos, this would be a great time to create a vision board and to really give your dreams life. With this fertile energy around you, you now have great possibility of bringing your imagination into being. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I am sending you all so much love.